Welcome back to Morning Extra. Our Thursday cooking segments are now dedicated to our wonderful friend mm -hmm. and guest, Chef Harry. So let's send it out to the Fox Connecticut kitchen where Harry's making some fondue. Hey, Harry. Hey, baby. I love being dedicated to the both of you <laughs> and to Fox <laughs> Connecticut and also to the three Valentines. I'm lucky enough to have three generations of Valentines at Heritage Trail. And if you come this weekend, you'll get to meet my mother, who is the first generation of my Valentines, my gorgeous wife of 32 years, Lori, my second Valentine, and our stunning 23-year-old daughter, my third Valentine. So I've, I'm lucky enough to have three generations of Valentines, and I hope the same for you. So we're going to celebrate all weekend at Heritage Trail, and uh, we're going to have some help with some fun food. And guys, if uh, you want to wow your woman, I've got a couple of things for you to do that are very easy. And uh, in the prior segment, she was showing you how to melt chocolate. And uh, that's something that I got in France with a trip to my wife, with my wife. And it's got a lot of sentiment, so it's also very romantic. This entire romantic setup is uh, really inspired by the love of my life of 32 years. And uh, we were on a trip to France, and this is called a bain-marie or a water bath. And it's a true way to melt chocolate or make French custards. You have this ceramic pen or insert, and then below it is a copper bath where you add the water right there. You put it until the water is simmering like uh, the previous segment was suggesting with a chef from the bakery, and then the chocolate just melts. And I have made a white ganache out of my melted chocolate, and in doing so I've used these white chocolate chips, butter, and cream. But it's Valentine's Day, so I want to make it romantic, and I want to make it pink. And so I'm going to add two things. The most important is the most romantic vodka that is made in the world, and it's infused with the best black raspberries, incredibly romantic vodka, just gorgeous bottle, a great gift, and then you can use it that night. And we're going to infuse our white ganache with this raspberry chambord vodka, oh my gosh, and then we're going to add some raspberry syrup, and we are going to make it pink from the raspberry syrup. And this is going to stay warm and beautiful, and it's fondue, but it's white chocolate fondue. We're going to use uh, the dark chocolate fondue that we made uh, during the holiday segments, and that recipe is still at ctnow.com. So this recipe is there too. So now you've got a pink ganache with raspberry and chambord, and you'll have the chocolate ganache that we use from the holidays. Now they have these amazing Driscolls right at the big box store. These are the huge strawberries, perfect for dipping. They have their stems already, so you can go ahead and dip. And I wanted you to see that we also have dipped in the chocolate ganache. So we have these gorgeous pink and chocolate strawberries. And it doesn't get much more romantic than that. I know Rachel and Erica down there are going, I want both, I want both. And they really are great, and they're beautiful, and they're really sexy food. I also bake some brownies, and so we've got some brownie bites, and angel food cake, and I think cherries are particularly romantic. A dipped cherry, it's just that easy and just that beautiful. So we've got a great presentation, but I think it's time for a cocktail. And I've got our raw sugar rim martini glasses, and we've got some raspberries, and then I promised you we'd use our chocolate ganache, and we are going to paint the inside of the glass. And you could do it if you have time with a design or lines or whatever you want. And then again, with our gorgeous raspberry chambord vodka, we're going to top it off. And with the finest sparkling mineral water in the world, my new friend Perrier, we are going to make it sparkly and bubbly and incredibly romantic, just like that. So guys, gals, happy Valentine's Day. I hope you're as lucky as I is to have three generations to share your Valentine's Day with. If not, come to Heritage Trail and share mine. I'd be happy to. So we'll look forward to seeing you, Erica, Rachel. Come toast with me. Cheers. We will. Chef Ray, not only do we want both, we want all of it. <laughs> all of it. All of it. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Thanks, Harry. Bye-bye. Thanks, Harry. And